Welcome to our CCPS Science Review Lab. Today I'm feeling a bit whimsical, so let's play Pictionary for a moment. Think about what scientific term I'm referencing in my illustration below. Well, we've got what seems to be a balance, and we've got water on one side, and we've got some poor guy sweating on a treadmill on the other side. Hmm. Sounds like a little bit of homeostasis to me. Let's talk about homeostasis. The whole idea behind it goes back to this idea of being balanced and the amazing ability that our body has to maintain balance within it. Truly incredible adaptations that we have. When you think about it, one of the most incredible ones and easiest to understand is the idea of what the body will do to maintain temperature. Okay, so if you think about it, kind of like your house. If your house is too hot, you can turn on the AC and cool it down. If it's too cold, you can turn on the heater and warm it up. Your body automatically works the exact same way. If your body gets too hot, then you start to sweat. It does that to help cool you down. When your body gets too cold, you automatically start shivering. No one has to turn that on. You automatically start shivering. That's the body's way of balancing and warming you back up. So you maintain homeostasis by not getting too hot, not staying too cold, by these automatic control systems within your body. The same thing can be said when you're really, really thirsty. When you're really thirsty, you go ahead and you crave water. That's your body telling you that it needs more fluid. So when you feel that thirst or when you're hungry and you feel that hunger, that's your body saying, hey, I need more nutrients. So again, your body maintaining that balance. So it has what it needs to work perfectly. Humans aren't the only ones who have homeostasis going on within their systems. Check out this guy. Here's a chance to show what you know. How do you think he maintains homeostasis when he gets too hot? Good luck. Show me what you know.